Hi everyone, this is Ryan from rockthedivine.com. Thank you for tuning in to my latest video. Today, I thought we would talk about clairvoyance and what it looks like to me anyway. And hopefully it resonates with other people or people that are unsure with their new spiritual gifts, what they're looking for. So, let me see. How I would explain clairvoyance for me and hopefully for other people is that it looks like your imagination. And I know what you're thinking. You're like, well, how do I know it's not your imagination? <laughs> well, I would say that sometimes you don't at first, but the more comfortable you get with what you're seeing, and the more you um, are validated with what you're seeing, the more you will begin to understand the difference between your imagination and between what you're seeing clairvoyantly. When I first started out, I thought that I was going to start seeing maybe like a movie playing in your head. And like I had said in my previous video, I once again was scouring Google trying to figure out what it's like. And people do their best to explain. They really do. I, I know it's such a it can be such difficult subjects, but I still just didn't understand. I, I still wasn't sure what I was seeing. Once I figured out that it it does look like your imagination, your head. So so for example, let's do it right now. Picture in your head a car any car just picture it in your head picture a tree in your head okay that's what it looks like so the way that looks like in your imagination is exactly how images come across clairvoyantly and so you can see if you're not sure what you're looking for, you might just think you were thinking of something or thinking of a person or saw a person you never saw before in your imagination when actually you're seeing a spirit. So I would say that the other way that I would best explain, sorry, I'm thinking of many things at the same time. The way I would explain also is that Unlike your imagination, where you're, you're, you're sort of taking the time to make it up, even if it took milliseconds, like to picture that tree, you had to make it up in your head quickly, and then there was a tree, and you can do it because you know what a tree looks like. So when you see things clairvoyantly, you didn't really have that time to make it up it sort of pops into your vision without you trying. So let's say an angel's in front of me. If I just sort of think internally for just a second, all of a sudden I'll see maybe uh, a woman standing in a long pink dress smiling. And it's real fast, it's real quick. Well, I know that's what the angel looks like to me. And while I see things also with my actual eyes, now not all clairvoyance do, and, and I don't know the statistics on this, I don't know how many of us do, how many of us don't, I know it's just not super common from what I've heard. I see a lot with my actual eyes, which early on could be really freaking unnerving. <laughs> and as a child, I saw way too much. I didn't know I had these abilities when I was young, but now I know why I was scared and seeing things I saw, but that's for another video. Anyway, so I I often, like let's say I, I can see spirit guides with my actual eyes. And to me, they look like columns of light. And how I see them with my third eye, so clairvoyantly, is if I if I see that column of light, I'll look over and if I if I just let my mind take over for a second, if I pause for a minute, I can see what they actually look like in my head. So so that same imagination type thing I was talking about earlier. So even though in front of me they're a column of light, in my head they'll well they look all kinds of ways. They usually just look like regular people. And 
also I would say that when you're when you're trying to trying to decipher what's real and what's what's your imagination just think did I take the time to make it up or or was it something that was just there all of a sudden in my head did it just pop in very quickly and and there is a little trick though with this or it's tricky on you sort of what I want to say your mind can manipulate things so for the new light workers for the people that are practicing this and and mine still does this so you know just with practice you can overcome it is that let's say you're talking to a deceased person a deceased loved one of someone you're reading for and there's a dog with them and it's a black dog and all of a sudden it's a white dog and you're like oh shit was that dog black or white well one of them's right and one of them your mind changed and and that's what happens i would say when you're thinking about it too much and you're not giving the information as quickly as you're getting it your mind will start to manipulate the information you're receiving so my advice to you is to give the information as quickly as you're getting it don't doubt what you're getting because when you start doubting what you're receiving um with information that's when your mind will start manipulating things and I had to learn that the hard way a lot of times I was getting correct information but I didn't I wasn't confident enough to say so and then I would somehow find out later oh geez that was right or I was hesitating and saying oh it was a white dog and they'd say oh no it was black and I thought oh God, that's what I got the first time but I didn't say it. I didn't say it fast enough and my head got involved and that still happens so sometimes I'll say listen I'm getting a white dog or I'm getting a black dog it, it's changing up for me and most people are pretty cool about it there's gonna be those people that are like oh sure and I'm, I'm sure it was a brown dog and a purple dog too oh you're psychic you're gotta you know but People are assholes you just gotta ignore them and and hope that you get the people that are more understanding about it so that's my video today on clairvoyance it wasn't a very long video but I hope you had a good time I did and I hope it I hope it makes sense to you that's how I would best explain it it's your imagination and you know how to use that so tap into that because that is how your clairvoyance is coming across much love to you